Hey guys, my name is Sandy Sills. I'm with BTX Realty here in Central Florida. I'm licensed both in New York and in the state of Florida, but I tend to live here more because of obvious reasons, the weather. The weather in New York is just too cold for the winter time, so here I am. <laughs> Anyways, um, today I'm doing a video on investing in real estate with no money down. Um, I love real estate, I'm also a real estate investor. I do investments such as I have multifamily properties. I do investments for short term properties as well, like Airbnb. I have a few of those. So I love real estate. I love the, the fun of investing in real estate. And I'm pretty sure you're watching the video because you're like, okay, so how do I get into real estate? Um, one of the first things that you could do is decide what you want to invest in. Do you want to invest in your first home? Do you want to buy a home? stay there for a little bit, sell that home, buy another home. That's one way of investing. Another way of investing would be if you bought a, a multi, a duplex or a multifamily and you live in one section and you rent the rest out to somebody else. Um, a great way of investing in real estate to, in, today, in today's market is Airbnb. And what a lot of people do, they'll buy a house and they'll stay in one section of the house and they'll rent the other section of the house out for Airbnb or even a room. I mean, there's so much um, investment avenues in real estate today. You, you could choose which avenue you want to go down. This video is going to be specifically, though, on investing with no money down. Now, if, you're for, if you have never bought a property, you have never bought a home, this is your first time you're buying a property, um, maybe one of the things that you could do is you could invest, invest in your first home. And invest in your first home, you could do different things with it. So you could rent it out, the different rooms for Airbnb. Or you could buy a duplex and you could live in one side, rent the other side out. But let's pretend for now that you are buying your first property. Um, some of the options is if you were ever in the army and you qualify for a VA loan, with VA loans, you purchase a property with no money down. That just goes with no saying. VA will allow you to purchase a property with no money down. Another good way though, that many other people could do since all of us were not in the army, is we could rent with option to purchase. So we could rent the property with the option to purchase, and that way we could still purchase it, but we might need time to build our down payment or our credit up or whatever the situation is, you could rent with option to buy. Now we, are, we work with a program called Home Partners of America, and they allow you to do just that. So as long as the property is priced for $400,000 or less, and you have a credit score of 575 or more, <laughs> you qualify for the program right and you have a combined household income of forty eight thousand dollars now if you do this program work with option to purchase and i have a few videos on my channel um, explaining this program or you could always send us an email on the links below in this video but if you did a rent with option to purchase the only thing you would need is one month security one month's rent so it's like doing a rent right it's just like renting a property except you're signing an agreement that you have the option to purchase the home and guess what you have up to five years to purchase that property now let's let's go into a little scenario this is just for an example let's say you found a home and it was zoned for short-term rental which means you could do airbnb in this property right and you did a rental only um on the property so you went you did a rent with option to purchase on the property and you let the home partners know that you'll be doing airbnb on the property which is fine and let's say you lived in let's say it was a four bedroom and you decide you're going to rent 12 the rooms out so you're renting two other rooms out you have a rent with option to buy you live in the two other rooms and with your Airbnb business, right, that you do with those two rooms, you could actually save the money to, uh, to buy this property or save the money to buy another property, right? Because even though you have a rent with option to purchase, you don't have to necessarily purchase. That's why it's called an option to purchase. You could exercise the option or not exercise the option. So this would be a great way to rent with option to purchase, do your Airbnb business or short-term rental in the property, and then start saving money to actually purchase it another thing i tell my um clients is this if you do the rent with option to purchase and normally own partners of america is going to tell you how much rent how much how much rent they think you could you should have you could afford so they'll tell you well if we're going to rent you this property based upon your income and all the information you give us we think that you could pay two thousand dollars a month in rent let's just pretend so even if they say you could pay the two thousand dollars a month in rent you could say you know what i don't even want to go to two thousand let me do fifteen hundred so if you're doing $1,500 a month in rent, then that extra $500, guess what? You put that towards purchasing a home or, the, or purchasing the same home that you're in, right? So you don't have to do the full amount of rent that they tell you that you could do. And this is not like buying a home, guys. 
Because you know, like buying a home, they say you could buy a home up to $250,000 and you decide to buy the home for $200,000 instead. You still don't have that $50,000, right? You, still, you just have a lower mortgage, right? That's the difference. Now, the difference with that and the difference with the option to, per, to, to rent is, option to purchase to rent is, if they say you qualify for $2,000 a month in rent, but you decide to only do $1,500 a month in rent, you literally still have that $500 that you're not paying in rent. That goes to your savings account and that goes towards you purchasing another home. So that's a great option to purchase real estate with no money down and, and save to get what you really want. So let's pretend you really want to buy a house in a particular neighborhood, but that price range is higher than the price range you're qualified for right now, or even the rental rate that you're qualified for right now. That's not a problem. You take the lower rental rate, you do rent with option to purchase in that lower rental rate, and you save that extra money, right? Uh, and you could also do some Airbnb in there if the development allows you to do it, and you let the person you're doing a rent with option to buy know that's what you'll be doing. You, you have got to do that. Because a lot of people get in trouble with subleasing, and you don't want to get in trouble with that. So if you know, so when you do a rent with option to purchase, and you are you even rent a home, and you're renting a part of the home out back to Airbnb or whatever you're doing, it's called subleasing, and people must know that you're doing it. Don't sign a lease that says you cannot sublease, and then you decide to sublease because that becomes a problem. And that's a huge problem, especially in New York, and I know it because. I lived in New York for a long time. I lived in New York from 1989 to 2012. So I lived through Manhattan, the Bronx. I went up to White Plains, New York, and I went into Orange County, New York. So yeah, I was. In, I, I think I lived in New York and I lived in Florida. So I've lived in Florida since 2012. So I know New York more and I know it happens there. So anyway, the point is if you're gonna sublease, make sure you, you um, tell people for that you're subleasing. So two ways of renting with of so two ways of investing in real estate with no money down is one, if you're a VA, you'll do a, you'll get a VA loan. There's no money down. Two, you could do a rent with option to purchase where you're only coming up with one month rent, one month security. Three, if the housing is in a rural area and it qualifies for a USDA mortgage, and a USDA mortgage is somewhat of an agricultural type mortgage. Some of the USDA mortgages you don't need to put any money down based upon the area. And it's normally in areas that is zone rural. Now, it doesn't necessarily mean the area is really rural and nobody goes there. It's just a matter of how it zones on the map. So you'd need to speak with a mortgage representative that do USDA loans and find out from them, based upon the area you're looking in, if it's on USDA or not. Okay. But that's also a great way to purchase with no money down. Okay. Uh, thank you guys so much for listening. Um, if you have any questions, again, send me an email or text. Do subscribe to this channel because we do a lot of videos on real estate investing, buying a home, and all the world of real estate we do on this channel, okay? Thank you so much. I do enjoy your time and I appreciate it.